Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Chapter 63. Guard. He hates his job. He hates the heat. He hates that he has to stand in front of the chop shop for hours, guarding the doors, making sure no one unauthorized enters or leaves. He had dreams back in Stayho of starting a business with his buddies, but no one loans startup money to Stayho kids. Even after he changed his last name from Ward to Mullard, the name of the richest family in town, he couldn't fool anyone. Turns out half the kids from his state home took on that name when they left, figuring they could outsmart the world. In the end, he outsmarted no one but himself. The best he could do was find a series of unfulfilling jobs in the year he's been out of Stayho, the most recent of which is being a harvest camp guard. On the roof, the band has started its afternoon set. At least that helps the time to pass a little more quickly. Two unwinds approach and climb the steps toward him. They're not being escorted by guards, and both carry plates covered with aluminum foil. The guard doesn't like the look of them. The boy is a fleshhead. The girl is Asian. What do you want? You're not supposed to be here. We were told to give this to the band. They both look nervous and shifty. This is nothing new. All unwinds get nervous near the chop shop, and to the guard, all unwinds look shifty. The guard peeks under the aluminum foil. Roast chicken, mashed potatoes. They do send food up to the band once in a while, but usually it's staff that carries the food, not unwinds. I thought they just had lunch. Guess not, says the flesh head. He looks like he'd rather be anywhere in the world but standing in front of the chop shop, so the guard decides to draw it out, making them stand there even longer. I'll have to call this in, he says. He pulls out his phone and calls the front office. He gets a busy signal. Typical. The guard wonders which he'd get in more trouble for, letting them bring the food in or turning them away if they really were sent by administration. He considers the plate in the girl's hands. Let me see that. He peels back the foil and takes the largest chicken breast. Go in through the glass doors and the stairs are to your left. If I see you go anywhere but up the stairs, I'll come in there and trank you so fast you won't know what hit you. Once they're inside, they're out of sight, out of mind. He doesn't know that although they went into the stairwell, they never brought the food to the band. They just ditched the plates, and he never noticed the little round band-aids on their palms.